in some atomic nuclei, an interesting process can happen. Namely, an electron from the inner ob orbits can get absorbed by one of the protons in the nucleus. Sure. Then uh, there is a vacancy in this inner electron shell, and the atom actually rearranges its atomic electrons. When this happens, then actually you emit light x-rays. This is called um, electron capture. Electron captures can happen simultaneously. And one such nucleus where this can happen is xenon-124. It's a special isotope of xenon. And what happens there is that occasionally uh, two electrons from the inner shell get captured by the xenon nucleus. The electrons rearrange themselves and they emit a very characteristic x-ray here with a total energy of 64 kilo electron volt. In our experiment, the xenon 1 ton experiment in the underground um, Gran Sasso laboratory in Italy, had a big vessel filled with 3.2 tons of liquid xenon. We can monitor anything that happens inside this uh, xenon, and that allows us to identify any double electron captures that happen in this volume. And this is the key figure. And the black points here are the data that we measured. The interesting part is what happens in this gray shaded region, because that's the region around 64 keV. And what you see here is that relative to a straight line, there's a tiny little bump here that there are 126 events in one half year of data taken. And we can actually, uh, from this, infer what the so-called half-life of this decay is. And we know all these numbers. And the number of events that we found was 126. What you'll find is that the half-life of xenon-124 is 1.8 times 10 to the 22 years. It's about 1,000 billion times slower than the age of the universe.